What's up, everyone? Welcome to DifferentBrains.com. I'm your host, Mike Nickus, and you're watching The Weekend Neurodiversity. Let's start off with an intriguing story of how robotics are being used to reduce seizures for those with epilepsy. Found Dr. Tandon, who uses the Rosa robot to improve epilepsy. This step allows us to identify the areas of the brain making the seizures, and then the second step would allow us to proceed with actually a removal of the tissue. He will go up to the epilepsy unit after these electrodes are in, will record from these brain areas making the seizures, and then based on that, we'll be able to tell him and his family what his odds of success from epilepsy surgery are. We're going to take things over to Iowa now, where a yacht club has teamed up with an autism center to design a program to assist kids by taking them sailing. The Children's Autism Center offers a variety of programs for kids with autism. We offer individual therapy, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. We also offer social skills groups. Um, that's a good opportunity for kids to work on their social skills with other peers who also have autism. As for Lachelle, she is hopeful all children with autism are able to be treated the same. Our main goal is to help people understand that our kids have the same wants, needs, desires as their kids. Next up, parents are helping veterans with PTSD. I think she immediately saw something in me that I needed, you know? She makes me feel like I'm important to her. It's called Serenity Park. Zoe and three dozen other birds are part of an animal therapy program that pairs them with vets suffering from PTSD. The veterans say that somehow the parrots can connect with them in a way that no human therapist ever could. We're going to move over to Towson, Maryland, where a yoga class is helping those with Parkinson's manage their symptoms. Yoga for Parkinson's class is for the people that have Parkinson's disease and their care partners. And I really enjoy teaching it because I see the progress people are making with their attendance. Um, I started teaching it because I have Parkinson's myself. And yoga helps me tremendously and I decided to teach so that I could bring this to other people that have this disease. Some people start off saying I can't do this and within a month or two they're feeling empowered and yoga does that. It empowers people to do what they want to do. Next, Jeffrey Gold, a longtime sufferer of misophonia, has raised money to produce a documentary called Quiet Please which focuses on the condition. I've tried many different mind games with myself to try to overcome this anxiety and this feeling inside of that tightness and that hot rage but I so far I cannot. It's not something that you can put up with you have a reaction that just is immediate it's emotional for me I want to escape. In my life right now I'm just feeling a lot of fear. It's been getting worse and that's really the pattern I've noticed and it's a scary pattern that hasn't stopped. And finally, comedian Jim Jeffries discusses his story of being diagnosed with autism at age 36 in his stand-up special Free Dumb. I rang up my mum and I left a message on a voice machine like this. Mum! You gotta call me back. I have the biggest news ever. <laughs> and my mum rang me back and went, You're getting married. <laughs> and I went, No, I'm autistic. <laughs> and she went, Oh, everyone knows you're autistic. <laughs> it's not that bad. When I was a child, I had polio. And if you're looking for something else to watch, then be sure to check out our other series, Exploring Different Brains, here at differentbrains.com. That wraps it up for this episode. Which story caught your eye the most? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and remember, you keep advocating, and we'll keep bringing the news.